Hello everyone, welcome back to Math 1350, more on math. Chapter 7, Section 5. Section 5 deals with the real numbers. And symbolically, that's that simple. That means everything from negative infinity to positive infinity. Education-wise, by the 8th grade, the students should know that first, that real numbers are any number that can be written as a fraction. Remember, any number. 3 is a fraction. It's a 3 over 1. 3.5 is the same thing as 3 and 1 half. Or 3 times 2, 6 plus 1 is 7 over 2. That's 3 and a half. So everything can be written as a fraction that will satisfy in the real numbers. More importantly, we're looking at the radicals. Radicals are what we call like square roots. Or anything bigger. This is called an nth root. The root is whatever is inside that V. That's what we reference to the root. If there's nothing there, the root is square. It's a 2. Then we say, what is that? How do you read that? X squared. Whenever you say squared, it means a 2. So this is square root. So the square root is any non-negative number such that x squared equals some number a. So if we have this, for example, Square root of 4 is what? This is what it means. Square root of 4 is 2. Why? Because 2 squared equals 4. That's what we're referring to. That. So whatever the answer is, if I square it, I get what's inside the radical. A radical, a square root, or an even root, if we had square root, or a fourth root, or any higher, anything, if as long as this is an even number, the answer will always come out to be positive. We have another process in mathematics that always gives us a positive answer. The square root of x squared is the same thing as the absolute value of x. Square root and square cancel each other out. They're inverses of each other, opposites of each other. So for example, if I say x is 
negative 3. So I have the square root of negative 3 squared. That's the same thing as absolute value of negative 3. Absolute value of negative 3 is 3. The absolute values get rid of whatever's inside there. It loses the sign. The final answer, the value, only last number, it becomes positive. If it's positive already, then it stays positive. But the answer is always positive. Unless the absolute value has a negative out front. That negative stays there. Absolute value of 3 is 3. So the answer is negative 3. But anything inside there works that way. So let's look at this. Order of operations, you have to do inside. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3. Negative times negative is positive. 3 times 3 is 9. So negative 3 squared is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. Remember, as long as it's in parentheses, that negative goes with the 3. If it's outside the parentheses, then this squared only only works on that 3. That would be negative 9. Okay, so we have to be very, very, very careful about that. The principle of square root it says this. If A is any real number, any non-zero, non-negative, so any real number greater than zero, the principal square root of a or square root of a is the non-negative x such that x squared equals a. That's the formal definition we just talked about. Square root of 4 equals 2. 4 is a. x is 2. That's what it is. So if I squared x, I get four, which is the same thing as the A is, and that's what that says. So that's the stuff we've been doing all along. When we talk about the absolute value, because this number inside here is a two, the root is two, and the exponent is two, because of that, they cancel out and you get what's inside there. The absolute value of it. So it becomes just x. This concept was developed 500 to 600 years before today. So we're looking about pretty much almost 3,000 years ago. We're in 2021 right now. 560 years before that. So back down to zero. All right, so let's look at some homework problems now.